Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Leah. And we're back with Dear Freshman, but this time... Junior edition! Woo! Junior year! <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we're going to be answering questions about junior year specifically and giving you our advice, our, our deep wisdom as always. Yes. So let's dive right in. First question, when should you start studying for the ACT? Oh, the ACT is the worst. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm just sorry that you have to take it and it's going to be awful, but you're going to get through it and it's going to yes. be okay. Um, I started studying, so I took it the first time the summer before my junior year. Mm -hmm. um, and that was weird because it was COVID for us, so they didn't really have like yeah as much prep classes and things like as that. As they do now. Um, but I studied like the fall of my junior year and then took it in December. What did yeah, you do? that's what I did. And I actually took some classes, so I took some one-on-one. -on -one, and I also took some um, like group tutoring, but I took the test on its own. For, I did some like study on my own, and then I took the test, and then I did some group and some one-on-one, -on -one, and then I took it one more time. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so, so I think like it just depends who you are. Person, but right. I think the, the tutoring with uh, like a group really helped me the most, like just to how to manage your time. Yeah, and I also took like a prep class, but it was in like a larger group. Yeah. And I've heard from some people that it's like really helpful to have the one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, I'm not a good test taker, I need to have as many skills as possible, like those people will like, you can do practice tests and yeah. they'll run through like the areas that you need to work on. I and wasn't so, good at test taking and they yeah. really helped me with like my time and all totally. that. So. Yeah, my sister, this wasn't the case for me, but my sister jumped like seven points or mm -hmm. something crazy after class. So, highly recommend it. Um, next question. Um, when should I start looking at colleges? I think it depends on the person. So I play sports, so um, I started pretty early, but I would say like maybe towards the end of your junior year, really start thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, she was committed before all of us, the senior year. It just depends. It's a different if, process. If you play sport, I think it starts sooner, but if you don't, then I think it starts more like the end of junior year. So like, when did, right. you, when did you start? Like, so for me, I didn't really tour any schools that I was really seriously considering until senior year, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people take that chance to like go out of state and look at different schools out of state their junior year. Especially from the like summer from junior year to senior year, because totally. by the end of like senior year that summer you're going to want to know already. Right, and then you can know before going into senior year kind of like what you're working towards, if you're working towards scholarships or specific like mm -hmm. GPA, that kind of thing. Um, but for me, I always knew I wanted to kind of look in-state, so that kind of like narrowed my possibilities a lot, but I know a lot of people start the end of their junior year. So like second semester junior year, look at those schools, like do some research, and maybe book a few tours. Yeah, I think like at least do like one, so then you have an idea if you want a big school or a small school, just like to get an idea more. Totally. I actually, I ended up touring like the summer after my junior year, I think, or maybe it was in the middle of my junior yeah. year, and I just went with one of my senior friends who was actually considering it. Um, and that's when I went out of state and it was so good to see like the big public schools and some of the smaller ones. So you get an idea. Yeah, so maybe go with a friend. And then the next question that kind of goes with that one is like, when should I apply? Mm. Um, I would just say like maybe... This is kind of going into like the halfway, senior year edition. Halfway through senior year. Don't I would do, worry about it junior year. Yeah, I mean I know there's like a class at the high school. If you're a junior, maybe you've taken it or you're going to take it this semester. Like college 101 I would highly recommend it we can talk about that in the next episode senior year but I know there's like a junior year edition where you can talk about like when to start all these things in junior year you can get really ahead but I started first semester senior year yeah but like you prepare for it your junior year so like your senior essay you'll write junior year so all of your all of your preparing is like junior year but then right. you'll actually apply senior year right or like the clubs you're in or the things that you're like mm -hmm. committed to you're going to put those in your common app and like it's kind of the grunt work from your junior year like your test scores and your grades that are going to go into yeah. your common app so keep focusing on those things and the common app will fall into place it'll be good um next one is it a good idea to get a job junior year because junior year i'm sure everyone has heard it's just like a nightmare <laughs> So that's been a very common question. What do you think of that? Personally, I thought about getting a job junior year, mm -hmm. but with studying for ACTs, my classes were somewhat harder. And uh, I also played sports, so I found it easier to get a job over the summer. Yeah, Over totally. the summer, uh, between junior and senior year, it was just a lot easier. I had a lot more time, and it was so worth it. Because then you have like money in your bank account ready for senior year. Yeah, totally. When you have more time. Right. And then you can keep that job into senior year. Yeah, I think summer jobs are huge, especially if you're in a sport. So for me, I actually did have a job junior year. It was through the school year. Um, and with COVID, my school schedule was pretty flexible, so that allowed me to work more. 
but I definitely had to cut back when I was in kind of the heat of like yeah. ACT and like hard classes. And then when I started a sport fall of my senior year, it was really hard to have a job. So I would say summers are definitely, if you're trying to make money, when you should do that. Um, but I also just like, I don't know, like you like to babysit, but I feel like that's something that's easy uh -huh. to do in the evenings and make money. Um, so it depends who you are, but maybe not a great yeah. idea to work a bunch. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot, unless you're really into that and you love your job. Like, that's awesome. Um, cool. Okay, next question. Do another scam one. Is Junior really as bad as people make it seem? The question, the question of the episode. Is it as bad as people make it out to be? Oh. Let us think about this. Put our thinking caps on. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I, I agree. just think it's a lot I think it's, of, it's a as lot bad of, as everyone says it is. It's a lot of studying. It's a lot of hard work. But I think it really prepares you for college. Like, you're going to have yeah. to do that in college. And yeah, I did, I've just never been under more stress than I was last year. Yeah. I don't know. But that's me personally. Mm -hmm. Like, I think some people, like, take harder classes senior year. Like, I have friends who are seniors that are, like, stressed yes. and more stressed than they were junior year. But I don't know. I think for us, too, our grade, like, mentally, we're just, like, kind of finally coming out of the pandemic. So I feel like everyone just kind of hit a wall yeah. socially and was just like, I'm done with this. I did my, be I did my best junior year grade-wise, though. Oh. Look at but you. I think, it's just, okay. I think it's just because, like, I was so, like, I really needed to try. And be, right. And I focused down. So there was nothing else to do. Just trying out school. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Just studying. Emma and her books. I right. Emma, about. yeah, catch Emma with her books, <laughs> always. Okay. Next question. Um, what is different about finally being an upperclassman? You make this transition from sophomore year, and you kind of know your way around the school, you know your way around things, now you're but now you're kind of, like, climbing up the food chain. <laughs> upperclassman. How does, how does that shift happen? Was it different? Do you feel like it was different? Um, no, not not too much. Um, yeah. I kind of noticed a difference because, like, I feel like the freshmen and sophomores like looked up to you more. Yeah. And not many people notice a difference between juniors and seniors. Yeah, I feel like every year, I'm sure, like whatever grade you're in, if you're watching this, like it gets weirder every year. You like you feel get old. In high yeah. School. As you get as time goes on, you can see like a difference as you like right. grow up, you mature, you feel older. I feel like, people, like being seniors, like yeah. So I feel weird. like people like look to you more, look yeah. up to you more as totally. a junior than a senior. They'll yeah. like look to you for advice for like a class, or they'll ask you questions about yeah. like, hey, should I do this? What about this club? What about this sport? I feel totally. like because you have more experience in the school. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And it's weird, like the older the grades you get up, like you just get surprised every time a new grade that's younger than you comes in, uh -huh. and it's just like an opportunity to like. Welcome. Be a nice person. Yeah. Like whenever I was an underclassman and like a junior or senior like said hi to me or knew my name, I was like, this is so cool. Like I just thought <laughs> I thought the same thing. Was yeah. So about. just like if you're a junior, like do that for other people. Or when you become a junior. So yep. that wraps it up. For that wraps it up. Junior edition. Junior edition. Watch See our next, next video. Time. See you next time.